For French 79, the teenage years are the period that best embodies the notion of freedom which characterizes his musical universe. Teenagers is the title of his third album, released in May 2023. We met him in Marseille for a walk between the old ports, his studio and his boat, where he told us the story of this album produced between Marseille, Paris and Corrance. Grand Bonheur et le label Inex présente L'envers de la pochette Le podcast qui dévoile les dessous d'un album La musique c'est un univers à trois dimensions c'est vraiment illimité Alors, Avec une demi-heure ou 40 minutes de musique C'est à voir sur un 33 tours On peut vraiment faire rentrer quelqu'un dans un univers Ça va Bonjour, enchanté. Jean-Mathis. Ouais. Tu veux qu'on se mette à l'intérieur ou qu'on aille boire un café dehors euh, Écoute, à l'intérieur, c'est très bien. Ouais, très bien. Ouais. 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 Moi, tu me sur scène. Ouais. <rire> Mon prénom, c'est Simon. My name is Simon. I've been living in Marseille for uh, 20 years now. So even if I wasn't born in Marseille, I just feel at home here. We are ici au, au, au Baletti. We are at the Baletti. It's a small bar where I come to have my coffee almost every morning on the viewport of Marseille because I live just close from here. I spend my time between my studio, this cafe and my boat which is just a few meters from here. beaucoup ce, ce quartier là. I really like this area and I love the port of Marseille. It's a place where I've always wanted to live and that I found very inspiring. Because, first of all, ports are kind of a special thing because there are lots of different people you meet, lots of people arriving and people leaving. I think it brings vitality to the city and the proximity of the sea brings a kind of freedom. It's not the sea itself that brings freedom, but uh, rather a feeling of freedom linked to the sea in front of us. For me, when you are in a big city, uh, you suddenly need to escape a bit. You look out to the sea and you can escape just by looking at the horizon. And then there are a lot of activities around fishing, the port, the fish market. Allez, messieurs, dames, on profite. Oh là là, c'est du coup. Bon, je me vais de là parce que je. Le théâtre, la ville à nuit, life at night, holidays, the sun. It's history too because the old part of Marseille has a very beautiful history. All these things make me happy to live here and I don't want to leave at all. And that also inspires me a lot in uh, how I make music. So my stage name is French 79. Uh, I run this project for a few years now. It's a solo project that I created after having several bands. I just wanted to be alone on stage. I had two bands, one called Nasser and the other called Husbands. And even though they were close to electronic music, it was not real electronic music. So that's why I uh, created this project. We started working with French 79 on Husbands, which was a band we did with Kit Francescoli and O Tiger Mountain in 2013. We celebrated the 10th anniversary of our first video with Bertrand recently, and it was for Husbands. Philippe Tidgat, graphic designer and filmmaker, member of the Cowboys duo. Simon always had the idea of doing an electronic solo project in the back of his head, but it was a bit of a side thing. One day, he arrived in Nancy with tracks for us to listen to, and it was a bit of an alternative project for him. At the beginning, we tinkered around quite freely. It was a playground for experimentation, both in terms of the images and the clips. It was really carte blanche, he was saying to us, have fun, use the tracks you like and create something. That's how the French 79 project really started. When I'm in the studio, I write a song a day. Obviously, when I came out of a period where I composed for a year, I had 300 songs. I had quite a few loops that I thought were good and that didn't correspond to husbands or Nasser. So I played them to my entourage and also to my friend Kit Francescoli or Tiger Mountain. They told me that 
it was uh, really good and that I should release it. I didn't know my future manager at the time, or maybe it was at the very beginning, but he wasn't my manager or my label or my producer at all. Maybe it was after I sent my very first song that he contacted me. I've built up a very small VIP address book from doing concerts with Nasser and husband, and I send it to all the contacts. Nothing crazy, but uh, for example, I send it to Laurent Garnier, to people like that, and they all give me super positive feedbacks. So I released three of, or four tracks, I think, and a first EP. I think that the fact that it works well in general, it's when you do it without putting any stress or pressure on yourself. So the more you take it easy and say, well, no, I'm just doing this because I have some loops lying around. It's a bit stupid to leave them in a bin, so we'll release them. And it works without pressure. I'm Olivier Jacquet. I run a music cooperative in Marseille called Grand Bonheur. And I manage a few artists including Simo Ener, aka French 79. We met with Simon a few years ago. It must have been around 2013 or even 2011, 12 years ago, let's say. One day he sent me the demo of his first EP and I immediately loved it. It made me feel as a cathedral music, music for big spaces, for big crowds, and at the same time, it was music representing intimate tenderness. And this double emotion made me call him 10 minutes after the first listening, right away. I wanted to share my emotion with him, far away from a professional proposal, management or anything. Professional, d'offres, de cadre et tout. That's how our collaboration started. Little by little, the French 79 project got more serious. It started to take off. In three years, it became the main project for Simon. We didn't realize it at the time, it was happening. Gradually, this sort of playground became a professional thing. But Simon kept his trust and his carte blanche with us. He always considered we had to keep on producing the visuals for French 79, although we thought that as he got bigger and bigger, he may have wanted to go another direction, but he didn't. We were super excited when he called us again for the third album, whether it was for the visuals or the clips. Both our projects grew up at the same pace and it's been 10 years now. It's the same team on all the three albums. When you see the magnificent evolution of his career, when you see the great evolution of what has become the label Alter K, and when you see that Grand Bonheur has also grown, I can say that this is a team that works well. Alors voilà, donc on so here we are, out in the sun, and uh, look, I uh, will take you to the studio. So we leave from the port and we'll be there in uh, 10 minutes. You can see my boat, it's right there on the left, so it's really not far. We're going to go past my house, it's right there. Each stage of his musical journey is a special moment. His first album is like the first album of a lot of artists. It's the best of everything he's ever released. The second album is the affirmation of a language. And here he kept on working on the electronic character, continued to work on the composition and then, little by little, refined his work as a producer and brought out his voice. That's what's so interesting about the second album, like the continuum of his adventure, and the public continued to accompany him and to diversify. Here we are at the Place des Sendor, which is a magical place, a public courtyard I love because it's so lively. It's in full sunshine almost all year round. There's also a bit of the artist's quarter uh, right here with the art gallery, specialist bookshop, old restaurants and uh, old Marseille institution. This is basically the place I throw every morning. Sometimes it's not in the morning, sometimes it's later. 
la chose qui peut-être la Perhaps plus the most interesting thing about this third album is the affirmation of composition. One line of composition, two lines, three lines with really exciting instrumental arrangements. I can see that this work as a composer is something that is more and more important to him and that will undoubtedly accompany him more and more in the coming years. And I've been in the studio for about 10 years. It's a big place, you will see, where there are several studios that I share with friends. We are three or four. One of them is uh, Kit Francescoli, who is right next to me. There is also Johan, Mathieu. I will introduce them to you. I think they'll still be there when uh, we get there. So here we are, we've been working for how long, uh, something like 10 minutes? Yeah, 10 minutes or 12. It's good, it makes me work a bit and uh, I like it. What I like about going from home to the boat and then to the studio is the change of the sound environment. On the boat, it's quiet. There is the sound of the water and the hole. And then I pass through a place where there's a lot of noise, the harbor, the city. And then I finally, I come back to a very quiet place where there's no more noise. So this has a little sound transition that I like very much. So of course, it's a studio, it's a cellar. It's important for me to be here in a cellar because uh, there's a special atmosphere in cellars. At one point I had a studio with a view of the outside and for me it was an honor because I was always looking out of the windows whereas here I can just produce music and compose. Mathieu, qui est aussi compositeur, qui fait plein de musique pour des spectacles de danse, de choses comme ça, qui est très bon de musique électronique aussi, qui a des groupes, enfin bref, un grand musicien. Travaille bien Qui c'est Kid, qui te prend jusqu'au lit, qui est dans cette pièce-là. Euh, et là, c'est mon studio. Voilà. So this is my studio up here. Voilà un peu où je passe, euh, this is where I spend a lot of time. Euh, it's important to have a nice room where you feel good, and I think that you feel good right away studio, when you speak. You can notice the sound environment. Uh, when you speak, it resonates a bit and it's not completely muffled either. There's something about talking that's nice. If it's nice to talk to each other in the studio, I think it's usually nice to make sound too. 